Japanese. Sorry for being so awkward at first, but I promise that I will open up and I'll make embarrassingly great jokes soon enough. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. <laughs> Well, I probably, I, I live in, uh, in North Brisbane, so I really have to plan the whole day. So I'd probably like get up in two hours beforehand, rush, <laughs> get here, go to my classes, and then afterwards I'd probably go to my brasserie. No, I don't think so. I don't think in my... From my perspective anyway, I don't think you could ever really find yourself because it's sort of like you're growing. You're constantly knowing new things, you're constantly, you know, going to new places and you're meeting new people and each time that you do that new venture, you sort of become a different person or a different side of yourself starts to build. And so then again, you're like, I don't know who that person is, I want to try and find that person. And so you kind of keep going and going and going until you're old and grey. And then that's when you think, maybe at that time you might think of yourself as the person you become, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, but it's a never-ending job. <laughs> For a long time, I've been like, why is people thinking that I'm this sort of, this sort of way? I'm not, like, you know. There's, there's like, I'm a think I think at the beginning of it, I'd, I'd be just really confused more than anything. And then there was a period of time <clears throat> where I was very angry that that was a misconception. But now I've kind of got to the point where if you want to really know me, all you have to do is sort of ask rather than presume or assume. And I think just from that point onwards, it's like if you want to get to know me and I want to get to know you, it's quite easy. But if you don't, then that's fine too. You know, but it's not a necessity anymore to kind of be understood by anybody.